So gentlemen, good evening. We are live in Facebook and YouTube. Today I have got a distinguished guest, uh, the professional golfer from India. He is Mr. Golf uh, Welcome, Mr. Golf uh, Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here live talking to you. Um, I have very fond memories of playing in Bangladesh. So um, very nice to join you on Facebook and uh, a big hi to all my friends back in uh, Bangladesh. Okay. In fact, uh, we are live in Facebook, also YouTube, also a cross link to LinkedIn. So three channels we are in uh, live now. Okay. So Gaurav, Mr. Gaurav, I want to know about your career first. You won three Asian tour. I saw your record and then you played also many European tour. And then you also played in a major, maybe that, is, that was British Open. So tell us something about your career, golf career, professional career, uh, journey in golf? Well, uh, my professional journey actually started in 1991. I turned pro late 1991 uh, in December. And, um, you know, I, I started off playing on the local Indian tour. At that time, it was the PGA, the, the now PGTI used to be called the PGA tour at that time. And... Um, you know, I started playing in India and I had a early success uh, in 92. I won my first event in India and went on to play on the local Malaysian tour where I won um, a tournament uh, immediately as uh, actually my first tournament I played in Malaysia. I won that. And, uh, you know, that's how my journey started. And I got, you know, serious about trying to play abroad and trying to play on the Asian tour after that. And uh, I started uh, trying to go to the qualifying school from 93 onwards. And in 95, the Asian PGA Tour was formed, which gave the Asian players a good platform to go out and play. Um, earlier, the, the old Asian Tour used to be only 12 or 13 events, which uh, had a lot of uh, players from abroad, especially America, coming and playing those. And the Asian players uh, got a very restricted start in most of the events, depending on which country the event was held. But then with the formation of the Asian PGA Tour in 95, we got a good platform to go out and play week in and week out. And uh, a lot of us owe our careers and success to that Asian PGA Tour. So, you know, starting out in 95, I started playing full time on that and, uh, you know, won the Gargill Asian Masters in 95 and, um, you know, had a good, good success uh, till, you know, till I stopped playing on the Asian tour and uh, which was around 2011 or 12. I had a, over 31 or 32 top 10s and, you know, three titles, which was very satisfying. So that was my pro. That was my pro career. But I actually started playing competitive uh, golf um, when I was very, very small, and I, I won the All India Sub Junior title in 1982. So I've been I've been associated with golf for a long, long time, and uh, yeah. it's been a it's been a lovely journey. You know, I've enjoyed myself. I I love the game. I've enjoyed myself, and I've had the opportunity to meet a lot of lovely people along the way okay so you you have a long career then that i think you started before jeep milka singh and others uh, leading player of india that we know the names uh well yeah jeep i think turned pro in 93 i had uh, i turned pro almost just about a year ahead of him but yeah we we played a lot of junior golf together and you know we've We've been friends ever since the junior days. And, uh, you know, I think after Jeev, me, Amandeep, then, you know, the whole other youngsters uh, who actually um, came from the so-called amateur ranks started turning pro in India. And, you know, um, now it's it's an endless wave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. It is. India is shining in golf after Korea, Thailand, and China. So, a uh, few another points like I saw in a lot of coaches are uh, teaching golf swing, showing your 
swing video. What is that secret that you have so wonderful, wonderful technique of swing that coaches are not teaching, showing that this swing you should follow? Uh, what was the secret that you, uh, you are called, I heard that you are called king of swing of India? No, not at all. In fact, uh, I think, uh, you know, I, I, I have a very uh, individualistic swing. Um, I, I don't, I have a swing all my own. Uh, and I don't think uh, I would recommend anybody to follow that swing. So, you know, it all, all goes back to how we started playing golf. And when I started playing golf, there were there were not so many coaches around so we all learned how to play um, on our own we learned how to swing the club by imitating the better players and trying to hit the shots like them and uh, so you know it was our own homemade swing but uh, that's exceptional that's why they're swing that was exceptional <laughs> like tong chai di and you some jigmil kashing especially you three you have exceptional swings yeah Ahead, yeah, so you know, we we never um, um, well, Jeev and me especially, you know, have our own way of hitting the ball and everything, and we we learned how to make it work. And I think, uh, you know, in today's day and age, when there's so much information for juniors with you know swing videos and track mans and you know ball flight laws and everything. I think somewhere uh, it's very important for the youngsters and especially their parents to to remember that you know you have to first learn how to score you have to learn how to chip and putt you have to learn your basics and uh, you know learn how to play and score and then get into the technicalities of the swing uh, I see a lot of times a lot of youngsters get too caught up in trying to build a perfect swing but a golf swing you know is, is like your signature it has to be natural to you. It has to come um, naturally because that's what's going to hold under pressure. So, you know, I, I, I think for the youngsters, a very important thing is to learn how to get the chip putts across, you know, uh, the green in your pocket first. And then once you have that, you try to, you know, fine tune your golf swing as such. But for the youngsters, it's important to just go out there and play and learn how to uh, play with their swing initially. Okay, that's great advice, Mr. Grove. Our juniors will be really benefit. I mean, professional golfer as a whole will be benefited. Who all over, whoever is listening this year conversation. So I've got a lot of comments on you. I started pouring in. I find Mr. JP from PGTI. He's writing. Uh, go, Mr. Gorov sir is the first Indian to qualify for the Open Championship. Uh, he is the legend of Indian golf. And then uh, somebody else has written, uh, hello, Mr. Gorob, uh, you are from which state? And somebody wants to know your experience in golf, you already told. So your favorite player. So starting from your, tell us some experience of your playing a major in England. And then uh, your favorite player. If this too, I come first, yeah. Favorite player? Yeah. Well, you know, I, I always uh, grew up, um, seeing the British Open, you know, we used to be kids and we used to wait for these VHS tapes to come back of the British Open and the uh, of Masters at Augusta National. So, you know, we always as kids used to dream of playing those events. So, um, for me, it was very special to, to qualify for the British Open in 97. And I loved watching Jack Nicholas play. I had all his books. When I was a kid, I, I used to try and uh, learn about the golf swing and uh, also learn about management. You know, I, I actually, as a kid, I read Jack Nicholas's book called Golf My Way and uh, another one called My Life in Golf. And in those books, which he had probably written in the early 60s, he actually talked about doing yardages which was unheard of when I was growing up as a kid. And I actually used to go out and step out and try and see how far I could hit, hit each iron and, you know, uh, carry each club. So, you know, I was very influenced by Jack Nicholas, And even today, I think uh, he's the best example of what, uh, you know, 
idol or a role model should be you know whether it's his golf which obviously he's got the greatest record i would say tiger has probably played the game uh better than anybody at 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 a higher level than anybody but you know jack nicklaus has obviously got the record for the most majors but other than that you know the success that he has made of himself in his personal life in his business and to handle all three of these things together it's it's absolutely incredible you know he's uh, he's the perfect role model to have for any uh, sportsman yeah so he he definitely is is the number one uh, role model for me always has been and uh, you know qualifying for the british open was an amazing experience uh, in those days uh, like today you know you you have many uh many qualifiers you know there are tournaments where you have international players playing where they have you know certain spots kept aside and sometimes you can you can know that you're going to be playing in the open almost 7 8 months before but uh, in those days when 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 i qualified for the open there was only uh, a final qualifying at the you know in and near the venue so you know i actually got to know that i had qualified for the open at 7 o'clock on a monday evening and tuesday yeah. morning i was at royal troon trying to figure my way around in the big circus <laughs> this great experience yeah so in those 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 days you have seen you have shown your skill and made history for indian golf for south indian golf for asian golf so mr gorukhe another uh, comment i liked here uh, He's writing, Mr. Jagamundur Roy. Your long, long experience says about. Uh, can you share some experience of how to keep fit and skill of golf? This is one. And what is your favorite food so that other golfers know exactly what to take, what to not take, and uh, to keep themselves fit? I'm sorry. Uh, can you can you just repeat that? Uh, how to keep someone fit? Fitness about fitness. Oh, fit, fitness. fit. Yeah. So, yeah. so you know. <laughs> so it's it's very interesting when 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 i was growing up we were told uh, to stay away from the gym because you would become very stiff and bulky and that would not be good for golf but uh, luckily for me i was i was very uh, sporty as a kid so i played a lot of sports i played cricket football badminton tennis i swam so you know i was lucky i i i was quite uh, half the size i am now and i was quite flexible but uh, it's it was only when i started playing the asian tour regularly that we you know interacted with world class physiotherapists and we had uh, two ladies particular philippa and sheila who used to travel every week with us and uh, you know till then i had not played so extensively on the indian tour we would play 15 or 17 or 20 events in a year when i got to the asian tour i was the in 95 the first year i played almost 39 weeks and you know along with the travel and everything that became a major issue and sure enough you know in one of the middle of the year i hurt my back and uh, that's when the physiotherapist came and you know came to my rescue and told me all about stretching and how important it was and then i kind of realized that a lot of the stretching was very similar to what we do in india or the eastern part of the world yoga and that's what got me more involved in that and and today i i do uh, i do go get on to the cross trainers and you know do a little bit of light weights and stuff but one thing i don't miss every day is a good 15 20 minute session of stretching and i think for any golfer any age that has to be something um which you need to really uh, be very serious and disciplined about to get into a good routine every day of stretching you know 15 20 minutes of good stretching is i think uh, a must for any serious golfer that's great that's great yes it is it is so Uh, so next question is uh, somebody is somebody commented that you own three asian tour played major many european tour asian tour many asian tour tournament 
what's about PGA or PGTI? Could you uh, win any tournament PGTI or PGA? Well, I uh, <laughs> I uh, didn't win anything on the PGTI, the new PGTI which was formed. Um, the youngsters are too good for me, but I did win 17 events on the old PGA, the the yeah. Indian tour before it went from PGA to PGTI. I I've, I've won 17 times on the local Indian tour. That's great, yeah. So yeah, this is great. They'll get to know, sir. And what's about sir? Your uh, this uh, you have been touring around here. As you said, you there is a, in your record it shows uh, that you have won some other two major two wins. You have won three Asian tour. Uh, you played in British Open. You as you said you have won many PGA tour and then two other wins. What is the two other wins sir, about? Is some uh, Hong Kong Open or well, uh, Open? well, one of the tournaments was. Uh, well, one of the events was uh, uh, when I turned pro, the Malaysian local tour was sponsored by the Tour Tourism uh, Development uh, Corporation of Malaysia. And it, it had a, you know, uh, local tour of about 15 to 16 events. And that was very popular with players in the Asian region and a lot of players from Australia and New Zealand used to come and play that. So I won a tournament on that. In fact, that was the first time I ever played uh, a tournament in Malaysia. As soon as I had turned pro, um, you know, within the first five, six months, I went and played a tournament called the Desaru Classic, which was in Johor Bahru in Malaysia. And I won that. And I won another event in uh, Malaysia, which was called the Asia Nations Cup. It was actually a qualifier for the World Cup. And I won the individual trophy in that. That was in Kota Parma in Kuala Lumpur. Great, great. So, sir, what you are doing now in India? Uh, uh, you you are no more playing in PGTA circuit. How you are spending your time? Well, these days I'm not spending my time doing much, you know, because of the you know unfortunate situation the whole world is in. But I'm actually still taking out a couple of hours and I go and play a little bit on my own and uh, try to keep, keep in touch and hope that things get back, back to normal and we can be Competitive field uh, soon. Yeah, your voice is a little just for it. But yeah, before this, you know, I, I last two years, last year, and I'll do the TI tour and, uh, you know, just, just enjoying playing golf. Okay. Okay, that's great, sir. sir. Did you visit Bangladesh any time? And what is your experience uh, in visiting Bangladesh? Hello. Plastic golf Hello. course. Um, you yeah. know the the layout, the conditioning. Both the times that I played, it was fantastic, and uh, I just love the layout. It's a very, very tight and challenging layout. In in, ter in in a few ways, bit like what we play in India, you know, uh, and like Delhi Golf Club, not too long, but you know, accuracy is uh, required, and especially, you know, with the new greens that they've got there now, you know, you have to really be precise with your iron shots. So, I I, I really enjoy playing Kurmitola, and uh, I've been there, I think, two or three times um, in the recent. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, few years when we had these joint sanctioned events with PGTI. Okay, okay, yeah, that's what I saw you maybe. Yeah, that's good, sir. So, do you have any memorable incident in Bangladesh or experience that you can share with us? Well, uh, the only thing I remember about Bangladesh is every time we land, there's some uh, procession. So, I remember the first time we landed in Bangladesh, 
we were stuck yeah. in a in the airport for about 5 or 6 hours but uh, luckily after that first uh, we landed at dhaka okay. and there was i don't know there was some sort of a procession or something so we guys were mm-hmm. just stuck in the airport we couldn't leave the airport and we couldn't get to our hotel for 5 or 6 hours but uh, mm-hmm. after that initial hiccup uh, it has always been a pleasure going to bangladesh and i love the food and love uh, playing there and uh, hopefully we can be back there soon the one thing i look forward to is going to chittagong i believe that's a very pretty golf course too yeah yeah it is it is most welcome sir the next time any pgta happening there I personally like that you come and visit Chittagong and play golf there. So I'd love to do that. This, yeah, sir. At the end of this show, uh, lastly, I want to know, sir, if you have any advice for the junior golfers in Bangladesh, especially junior professionals, junior amateurs. Uh, and I had a lot of comments. I cannot go all all of those. So you have also some uh, audio problem. You said also some electricity uh, challenge. So. Uh, if well, you can say from yeah, well you know i i think for any junior golfer um and i'm talking about you know kids who are just starting playing golf uh it's very important for them as well as their parents to realize that golf is a game at the end of the day you got to play it as a game however good you are however serious you are play it as a game it's a beautiful game and it's a game of a lifetime you know you could be playing it till you till you can walk you can play golf and along with that you know over the years you meet some great people you meet some lovely people on the golf course and you make friendships for a lifetime so i think the first thing is that that you know you should enjoy playing the game and not get stressed up about it if you're not performing as well as you should or not and secondly the only thing i can advise young golfers is find a coach who makes the game fun for you who makes it simple for you and you know from say 6 7 years old till you're 12 13 or 14 years old that coach should only be able to tell you this is how you hold the club this is how you aim go out spend the whole day on the golf course and figure out how to get the ball in the hole and uh, if you can do that and have fun i think as a golfer you will see a lot of success so thank you very much for your wonderful points on the advice that you have left us today left for us uh, really our audience especially golf for those who are watching this they will be benefited sir thank you very much sir. it was my pleasure to have you on in our show sir looking forward thank to you thank you so time. much i enjoyed being there and thank you once again and i look forward to coming back to bangladesh very soon most welcome sir sir thank you